What's going on guys? In today's video, I'm gonna share one hack that you can implement to instantly level up as an entrepreneur and get one step closer to achieving seven figures with your digital marketing agency. Wish that you were better. With that in mind, if you're brand new to the channel, please subscribe, please hit that like button. It does help out a ton. And for anyone that's subscribed to the channel, in our free Facebook group that you can also check out in the description below, we do AirPod giveaways. And for anyone that's subscribed to the channel, we do an AirPod giveaway about once a month. And at this point, I've given out so many freaking AirPods. So. If you like the content, if you like this video, it would mean a lot for you to subscribe. And uh, with that in mind, let's dive in. All right, guys, in today's video, I wanna give you guys one hack that you can implement to instantly level up as an entrepreneur. And it is a hack that I still use to this day to level up as an entrepreneur and help me achieve my goals with my business. So one of the biggest mistakes people make when trying to scale up is they ask themselves, how do I need to, what do I need to do to hit 10 K a month? Or what do I need to do to hit 50 K per month? Or what do I need to do to hit hundred K per month? Or what do I need to do to hit 1 million per month? The problem with those questions, it's that it doesn't address a root factor in hitting those goals. And the root factor is who do you need to become in order to hit those goals? How do you need to level up as an entrepreneur and as a business owner and as a human being in order to hit those goals? So one of the biggest hacks that I can give you guys in order to scale to seven figures and beyond is to stop asking the question, how do I hit seven figures? And I get it all the time. I have Students reaching out and saying, hey, Joel, what's the fastest way to seven figures? What's the fastest way to scale up? But the right question is who do I need to become to scale to seven figures? Who do I need to become to be at 100K per month? Because if you have clarity on the person that you need to embody and the person that you need to become and the person that you need to level up into, and then you become that person, it's a lot easier for you to actually go out and get those results with your business. So I'll give you a few examples in terms of who you need to become to go from six to seven figures. And then I'm gonna actually share answers from this exact exercise that I just did for myself to level up. And then I'm gonna give you guys my specific examples. So in regards to going from six to seven figures, some of the things that you'll have to do, number one, you'll have to learn to let go. A seven figure entrepreneur is a type of human being that relinquishes control and trusts their team in order to create the space to scale. But if you're controlling everything, if you're not letting go, if you don't trust your team and you're the type of human being that needs to control everything, needs to have their hands in every part of the business and you don't relinquish control, it's gonna be really hard for you to scale because to scale the seven figures, you're going to need to have a team. There's no other way around it. So the type of person you need to become is one that lets go, one that trusts, one that relinquishes control. I'll give you guys another example. A six figure entrepreneur focuses on tasks that aren't scalable. A seven figure entrepreneur always takes a step back to work on tasks that are scalable and much more long-term. So in other words, a seven figure entrepreneur is a human being that thinks long-term. I'll give you guys a very specific example of just that. When I was running my agency and I was at six figures, I was personally sending out cold emails. My business partner was personally cold calling businesses. And yes, in the short term, 
that gave us quick results. But in the long term, it wasn't scalable. So when I finally realized, hey, if I want to scale to seven figures, I need to think more long term, I took a step back and actually a few steps back and I focused my energy on building a system to get appointments for my my agency through paid ads. And it actually didn't work at first. We spent about $5,000 before we ever, ever got a client. But I knew that if I took those few steps back and I continued to focus on the long term, eventually it would lead to something much more scalable. And fast forward about a year of running paid ads through my agency and we ended up getting the two comma club award through click funnels for all the agency clients that we had acquired through paid ads because it was that much more scalable. So I had become the type of human being that stopped thinking short term and started thinking long term. Another huge difference between six to seven figure human beings is six figure human beings are reactive. Seven figure human beings are proactive. So for example, when I was running my agency and I was at six figures, anytime I would get a client issue or there was a client fire, I would drop everything I was doing, no matter how important it was. And I would go attend to that issue. But I realized over time that if I want to scale to seven figures, that will not work and that will not serve me. I need to be much more proactive and I need to have much more control over my day to day and react emotionally a lot less and be much more logical in how I manage my day to day and also in my decision making. So, For example, one thing I did is I stopped letting anyone get in the way of my mornings. And the first hour of every day, I focused on big projects. And even if there was a huge emergency, even if there was a huge fire, I still focused on proactive activity instead of being reactive. Another example is I stopped making decisions out of emotion, out of how I feel And I started making decisions based off of data and I started tracking things. And that allowed me to be much more proactive rather than reactive. And that's a clear example of going from being a six figure human being to a seven figure human being. And therefore, once I had evolved into a seven figure human being and I was being proactive and I was doing things that were scalable and I let go and had a team and systems in place and I trusted them to take the lead on things, that's when my agency really scaled up. So if you're watching this video, you need to stop asking the question, how do I get to the next level? And how do I get to seven figures? You need to start asking the question, who do I need to become to get to the next level? And who do I need to become to get to seven figures? Let me give you guys another example. I just did this exercise. I just asked myself, Who do I have to become to get to the next level? One thing I wrote down was I need to be more consistent with my schedule and I need to commit to my calendar. As a CEO of multiple seven figure businesses too, I need to be much more strict with my schedule and I need to commit to the calendar at a much higher level. Another thing that I wrote down is I need to have less last minute behavior. So I need to have less activity that's very last minute, very impulsive. And again, take back control of my schedule. Another thing that I wrote down is I need to become the entrepreneur that instead of adding more things to my plate, I actually finish through what I started. So I wrote down more is not always better. Sometimes it's just better to master what you already have and get really good at it instead of adding more to your plate. For example, instead of going out and trying to launch a lead magnet funnel and a bot, the fact that we had committed to running YouTube ads and it took us so long to finally get them up and running goes to show that we should have just focused on YouTube ads and not added anything else. 
So those are a few examples of the next level I need to achieve. Another thing that I need to do to get to the next level is help my team members become better leaders. Because if I help them level up and become leaders, then my business will grow like crazy. So as part of who I need to become to the, to get to the next level, I need to become the type of leader that inspires leadership within my team. I need to become the type of leader and the type of human being that inspires other people to level up and rise with me. And by having clarity around who I need to become and by becoming that person, it's going to be extremely easy for me to then have a similar effect in my business. So with that in mind, stop asking the question, how do I get to seven figures? How do I level up? Instead, ask the question, who do I need to become to get to seven figures? And who do I need to become to level up? So with that in mind, if you enjoyed this video, definitely take a quick second to subscribe, to like this video. It would mean a lot. And anyone that subscribes to the channel and joins our, joins our free Facebook group, we actually give away free AirPods about once a month. We've given away a ton of AirPods. So as an added bonus, I know it's not all about the AirPods, but as an added bonus, if you subscribe and like this video, if you like the content, it would mean a lot and you'll be entered to win some AirPods. So with that in mind, I'll see you guys at seven figures. We'll talk soon.